actually recreate tornadoes. I grew up with Meccano sets and mechanical gadgets, so a restaurant I'd like to try is one run by machines. And in this place, just outside of Shanghai, that seemingly sci-fi future is actually a reality. So I managed to get into the cockpit, which for a mechanical engineer is a dream come true. And we're heading towards the glaciers. And even though the, the views that I can see are absolutely beautiful and that's enough in itself for me, this mission is all about collecting data and understanding exactly how the environment here in this harsh area of the world is changing. We're mimicking the conditions at Jutland as closely as possible. Cordite in the gun house and the doors to the deep magazine left open. Now Trevor's going to set light to the propellant just in the top compartment to simulate a hit on the gun turret. Okay, Shinny. Getting nervous here. Firing in three, two, one, five. <laughs> Historically, this water has been problematic water. Our goal is to take this water and turn it into a productive resource. Wow, so this water actually runs underground about eight feet, and you've brought it up to the surface. You're going to clean it up, and then you're going to tap it back into the crops. That's the plan. So I, I brought you some water samples. OK, I hope it's not that that I have to try. No, this is the salty drainage water, and this is the, the product water that we're producing, which you can see is very clear, but more importantly, doesn't have any salt in it. OK, I'll take your word for it. I'm standing in what's considered to be a tropical windstorm. And it's all powered by this colossal wall of fans. That's enough to throw down a house. To find out, I'm blind tasting two raw chocolate samples, one that's been treated and one that hasn't. Really bitter. Really horribly bitter. <laughs> <laughs> now try this one. It's bitter, but it's nice. It's smooth. This is definitely your chocolate. Yes. Yeah, the taste is significantly different. It's cutting edge technology, isn't it? Very much so. If this device is as efficient and efficacious as we think it will be, then it can be a game changer in lung transplantation. Honestly, for me, that was the most humbling experience I've ever had. Watching lungs being extracted from Vicky's body and being replaced. And, you know, the donor, the surgeons, the hospital, the OCS machine all came together at that perfect time. <laughs> And now Vicky has a brand new chance at life. It was truly miraculous.